Okay, I'm going to go to Desmos uh, online graphing calculator and you can watch me build this rational function that satisfies these properties. Okay, so here I am on Desmos. The first condition was that there was a root or a zero at x equals three, which means x minus three is a factor. And there's the root, three, zero. There's also a hole at five. What that means is that in the numerator of the rational fact fraction and in the denominator, we have the same factor. That hasn't actually changed the original function very much except for the fact that f of 5 is undefined. <clears throat> I don't need these. <coughs> the reason is, <coughs> is because if you put 5 in for x, you get division by 0. I can plot the point 5, comma. Now, how do I know what the y-coordinate of the whole will be? Well, if I ignore the x minus 5s and just picture putting a 5 right here, 5 minus 3 is 2. Uh, oops, comma. And if I want to, I can show where that point is with a the hole. There's the hole. Okay, now that, that position is going to change as we add additional conditions to the function. The second condition is that there is a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 1. So that means that there's an x plus 1 in the denominator. And here's the vertical asymptote, x equals minus 1. Make that dotted. Okay. And now you notice that this hole is not on the graph anymore. And that's because I added this x plus 1 in the denominator. If I put 5s in for this x minus 3 and this x plus 1, I get 2 6 or 1 3rd. I'll bet if I change this to 1 3rd, the whole will be on the function. Okay. Now we've got two more conditions. One is that there has to be a horizontal asymptote at y equals 3. Uh, right now, the degree of the numerator equals the degree of the denominator. Uh, if I multiply these guys together, I, I get x squared in the numerator and x squared in the denominator. So the right now, the horizontal asymptote is at y equals 1. There it is, because the coefficients of the x squared terms will be a, three, a 1 over 1. But if I put a 3 here, the horizontal asymptote changes to y equals 3. And I'll bet if I wanted to, I could put a 3 here also. Oh, yeah. It changes the way the function looks quite a bit. But I'll put it out here. Uh, and that changes where the hole is because I've now got 3 times 2 is 6 over 6 or 1. And the, there's the hole. The final condition is that when x is 0, y is negative 9. And if we put 0 in for x, we do get negative 9. So there's no adjustments to be made right there. Okay, there, oh, I don't want a hole in that one. So we'll just put 0, negative 9 down here. And there you go. Okay, so it just uh, coincidence that putting this 3 here caused the vertical or the uh, y-intercept to be 0, negative 9. We'd have to make an additional adjustment if we put the 3 here. We still have this horizontal asymptote at y equals 3. But the y-intercept is no longer at 0, negative 9. It's up here at 0, negative 3. So we'd have to make an adjustment maybe by putting a, well, I won't go into that. Okay, I'm just going to leave it this right now. Put the 3 there.
that works. Okay. Hope that helped. And uh, if you have any questions, post a comment. Thank <laughs> you.